I'm sensing a pattern with some of these books. Hey everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm here today to share something that's very shameful. And that is the collection of unfinished series of books. So I had some criteria while I was making this list. They had to be books that were on my shelf in either a completed series form or I had the next book or books that uh, were after the last one that I've read um, available readily to me to read. So when I actually got down to it and, you know, discovered this list, and, and piled all the books up next to me, which you can't actually see. Um, I'm gonna have to divide this video into two parts. So, yes, you have twice as much fun to look forward to. And of course, I have a little thing wanting to crawl into my lap. So since I have that many books to share with you, let's get right down to it. The first book I have to share is the Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I have only read this one book. I have all the books on my shelf and I even have the like fifth book from Ridley's perspective on my Kindle. No excuse. The Pledge series by Kimberly Deerting. I read this book, loved it, have the second book in two copies on my Kindle and on my shelf. I think I even have the third book in a arc form sitting upstairs with my arcs. No excuse. A Beautiful Dark by Jocelyn Davies. I read this one as an arc form from NetGalley years ago. I bought it because I liked it so much. I bought books two and three because I liked book one so much. They're just sitting on my shelf. No excuse. Harry Potter. I have yet to read the Deathly Hallows. No excuse. The Lion Game by Sarah Shepard. I loved the first book. I loved the TV series. I have, I'm pretty sure, all the books in the series sitting on my shelf. No excuse. The Matched series by Ali Condi. I loved the first book. I then subsequently bought it in physical format since I got it as an e-arc. Bought books two and bought book three. I even have book two as an arc form upstairs too. No excuse. Elixir by Hilary Duff. To be fair, I did just buy the third book, but I really enjoyed the first one. I have had the second one on my shelf since it came out. No excuse. Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard. To be fair, I have read the first eight books and she just keeps coming out with more books. So, there's a slight excuse in that one. The Immortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare. I've read books one and two. I have all of the books currently from the series on my shelf, although I've heard rumors that there might be another book. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I even have the third book, which I started to read and then couldn't finish. I got like two chapters in on audiobook from Audible. No excuse. The Magnolia League by Katie Crouch. I got this as an e-arc from McGalley. I bought a physical copy because I loved it so much. And I have the second book sitting on my shelf. As far as I know, there's only two. No excuse. The Vicious Deep by Zoreta Cordova. I got this as an e-galley from McGalley. Read it, loved it, bought the first book. Got the second book as an arc. Haven't touched it. No excuse. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. I have read Graceling. I finally read Fire through audiobook. I have yet to touch Bitter Blue. No excuse. The Raves by Wolves trilogy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've read books two and, or one and two. Book three is the shortest of them and I haven't read it yet. I loved the first two books. No excuse. Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. I got this as an e-arc. I loved it. I bought it. I bought the other two books in the trilogy. Have not touched them. No excuse. Halo by Alexandra Adornetto. I got an arc of this through a traveling arc mailing list. 
loved it, sent it on to the next person, had to get a copy for myself. I then also had to get copies of books two and three, haven't touched it since. Heist Society by Allie Carter. I loved the first two books. I waited ages for the third book. I got it as soon as it came out, haven't touched it. No excuse. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. Got a copy of the first book, loved it, had to buy a physical copy because it's gorgeous. I have books two and three sitting on my shelf and I haven't touched them. No excuse. Eve by Anna Carey. I really liked the premise of this first book. Bought a copy of my own, bought books two and three. Haven't gotten around to reading them at all. No excuse. The Gathering Storm by Robin Bridges. I loved this first book. It was awesome, paranormal sci-fi set in like Russia from 100 years ago. It was really, really good. Got the first book, got the second book, got the third book. Haven't touched the second or third yet. No excuse. Skinned by Robin Wasserman. I loved the first two books. I have the third sitting on my shelf and I haven't been able to finish the trilogy. They're little, like they're not even full size books. Look how short this is. No excuse. The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. I loved the first book and I loved the second book and the third book is sitting in a matching cover on my shelf. No excuse. The Girl in the Steel Corset by Katie Cross. I have received all four books in eARC form. I have only read the first three and I have all four books sitting in hardback copies on my shelf. No excuse. To be fair with this one, I did just finish reading the third book. So it's a recent ongoing, not completed series at least. The Candidates by Anara Scott. I have the first and second books and I've only read the first. No excuse. Embrace by Jessica Sherbington. I have the first two books in hardcover. Pretty sure I have the third book at least in arc form. And I've only read this one. No excuse. She's So Dead to Us by Kieran Scott. I only first two books. I've read the first one. I don't own the third, but I haven't read the second one yet. So why buy the third book if I haven't even read the second one? No excuse. The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. I own all three. I have only read the first and it was awesome. No excuse. Divergent by Veronica Roth. They're right behind me on the shelf. I have only read the first two. No excuse. The Daughters by Joanna Philbin. I own the first four books and I've only read this one. No excuse. Die For Me by Amy Plum. I own the first two books. I've only read this one, which is why I haven't actually bought the fourth, the third book yet. No excuse. Lost Voices by Sarah Porter. I own all three books. I loved this first book and I haven't touched the second two. No excuse. Siren by Trisha Rayburn. I own all three books. I hate the fact that they changed the covers after the first book was released. And I've read the first two, but I haven't been able to finish reading the third book. No excuse. The Sookie Stackhouse series by Charlene Harris. I think I own them all. I've only read the first like six or so, but there's still a lot left I haven't read. No excuse. Rachel Vincent's Werecat series. I own all five, six books. I have only read all of them except the last. I haven't read the last one and I don't know why. No excuse. The Undead and Unwed series by Mary Janice Davidson. I have a lot of these. I have only read like the first four or five. They are hilarious and I don't know why I haven't finished it. No excuse. The Arsenal Vampire series by Lindsay Sands. To be fair, she just keeps cranking them out. I'm not sure if she's actually done yet. I own most of them though and I've only read about half. No excuse. The Anne of Green Gables series by Lucy Maud Montgomery. I have this entire lovely box set. I've read a lot of them. I haven't read all of them. I feel like it's kind of a slap in the face since I'm a Canadian. No excuse. So that's it for part one. As you can see, I have many, many books without an excuse. 
to not finish reading. I think the only excuse I can come up with is time because I have to work. If only I could get paid to read, that would be awesome. Like a penny a word would be awesome. Like a dollar a page, that would be, I could totally do that. Someone make up this job and I will do it. So stay tuned for part two of my unfinished series video. Um, yeah, it's just gonna get more embarrassing from here. But it's like, it's like repenting or something. I'm just, gotta get it out there for the world to know and then I can fix it. Yeah. So until next time guys, happy reading and let me know down below if you have any unfinished series sitting on your shelf that you are super embarrassed about because I got a lot. <laughs>